you thank you very much for uh, i would like to uh, first of all i would like to thank uh, management as well as uh, my friend my colleague my junior uh, dr deepak for inviting me for this uh, wonderful session and uh, i would like to thank the department for giving me this opportunity to deliver a lecture on beware of uh, the predatory journals so just a minute i'm sharing my uh, ppt Can you see my PPT, everyone? Yes, sir. Just a minute. I'm making full screen mode. Is it visible now? in full screen mode okay thank you so everyone is thinking about most of the researchers when they are starting with the research they will uh, always thinking about we want to be a good scientist we want to be a, a good renowned person in the in the particular field how they will get how they will achieve the target of their own by by publishing their papers and by the patent then only they will they will uh, known by known by the scientific community even wherever even wherever we are working right so we we will reach the scientific community how it will be by through by publications even the young researchers right young researchers they are thinking that we have to publish more research article then only your name will come to or reach the society and you will get some some benefit or you, the research has to have some uh, outcome social outcome you know that the basic research as well as applied research right applied research it will reach up to the society right so when it will come to the society your research has to be research data has to be has to be utilized when it will be utilized you have to publish whether in the sense of patent or whether in whether by means of publishing your your research data right so when we are going for publication there are so many struggles you may face so here we are talking about one of the struggle one of the constraint how to overcome overcome this kind of problem when you are going for publication first the initial stage when you are starting your research right first you will do the research and collect the preliminary data that is basic research after that you are going for the application studies or application oriented research if you are doing then that is called applied research so after that what you will you will plan for okay let me go for patent that is there are there are some, several organization they are planning for they are uh, giving support for patent but there is no Uh, supporting organization for for uh, publishing in a right journal but we must be aware as a researcher we must be aware we are always thinking about our research work how we can perform how this methodology can be shot out and how we can get the result but after that as a researcher we must be aware about about the predatory journals and cloned journals right so here we are going to discuss about how to search a right journal or how we can escape from the from the predatory and cloned journal already already in the in the introductions introduction session they have uh, already uh, one of the student explained nicely about the predatory journal they are all frauds they are all frauds they are started the journal they are deceptive as well as the pseudo journals they are right they don't have any ethics they don't have any 
ethics research must, must have ethics that's why the ugc they announced to have one one paper must be included in the coursework of phd scholars that is public uh, publication ethics bioethics research research uh, bioethics so while we are publishing you know, it should have ethics some moral but in the predatory journal they don't have they are only working for money they don't have a proper editorial editorial members right and they don't have a proper rules and they don't have a proper uh, peer review for for your manuscript then your name will be spoiled and your data will be explored to the scientific community anyone can utilize because they don't have any copyrights right when we are publishing this the that type of journals are called predatory journals so what they will do they will usually they are asking for asking to submit the authors uh, submit the uh, submit the man submit their manuscript they are continuously they are sending mail continuously they are sending mail to mail to authors to get the get the articles and they will ask for as for uh, article uh, processing charge apc they will ask for article processing charge and they they don't have a peer review peer review system what is the normal process of journal first they will if you are submitting your manuscript in any journal there is a proper website right for submitting the journal they will ask so many questions while you are submitting starting from your name your uh, affiliation your email id right all the details even orchid id they will ask right after that it will enter into another page for uploading manuscript and they will ask for title abstract then everything you have to you have to add then after that they will ask whether it will be a open access one or whether it may be a may be a paid service they will ask whether if if you are able to pay then it will become open access that is article processing charge they will ask in a different way compared to the predatory journal right so after submission what they will do they will send they will find out some reviewers the they are working in the same field which you have submitted your manuscript then after that what they will do the reviewer the reviewer get the manuscript then they will gone through it and after that they will they will find out some mistake and they will inform to the editor these are all the mistake i have found this is the this is up to the mark of up to the mark for publishing in our journal otherwise they will reject the journal reject the manuscript so this is the peer reviewing it will reach three reviewers or it may be up to five reviewers it depends on the journals even for nature or science they will send send the reviewer five reviewers because they are maintaining some standard but in the predatory journals it don't have standard then after submission the pre reviewing after in the pre reviewing they will give some comments and then what we will we we have to do the corrections and we have to give the comments respond to the comments reviewer comments then we have to respond these are the uh, mistakes we we have corrected spelling mistake grammatical mistake or scientific method has to be included those things given by reviewers then after adding then we will resubmit to the journal same journal then after resubmitting again the journal editor will send to reviewer it's the same reviewer and whether the the response given by author has to be corrected or not they have made or not <coughs> it will be verified by the reviewers then again again it will accepted by reviewer if it is accepted by reviewers then it will come to the next stage for pre printing pre printing proof then it will be accepted or if it is not accepted then it will be rejected then after that what it will do they will uh, they will uh, in in the peer review after the peer review it will go for the proofing pre printing in the journal format they will change change into the journal format and it will go for the go for the proofing then they will after changing into their journal format they will again send to us 
this is the general format if you are finding any mistake you can correct it after publication it won't be correct you cannot correct correct it this informations must be uh, read by authors then after that they will ask for the copyrights copyrights for the for the publication from the authors then we have to sign it and we have to send it to editors editor of the journal then only they will go for the publication then it will be it will be published in the in the website initially it will be published in the journal uh, published in the website in in printed journal they will go for after two after uh, one month they will go for the printing right so it is a very long process in the normal journal it will take minimum 3 months minimum 3 months you just think about it but predatory journal what they will do even morning if you are getting getting the manuscript if you are submitting the manuscript they will ask for the charge application uh, that uh, article processing charge you will you are paying 3000 5000 or 10000 then immediately evening it will be in the online do you think whether they are they are uh, reviewing your manuscript your data even even those those kind of uh, if you are submitting into the uh, those journals what will happen even when you when we are seeing the manuscript we could not find any mistake when it will be reviewed by other others then they will find some spelling mistake grammatical mistake some of the scientific informations any mistakes even they will they will find out typographical error also even image clarity they will ask for anything the reviewer will ask for anything so what they will, this kind of things can be can be uh, avoided right so morning if you are submitting then evening it will be published it will be good but you ha you have to aware of the predatory journals and cloned journals they will only work for money they don't have any ethics any moral so jeffrey bell he is the first person right he was the first person he is he was a librarian of uh, university of colorado in denver he started an website right he started an website he he aware about that uh, predatory journals the scientific community is of uh, or facing issues uh, then he started one website that is uh, bells list net nest.net this is the website for for explaining the false claiming of uh, this predatory journals this journal this website no it will give the list of list of uh, predatory journals right so in the predatory journals you know that they will ask they don't they will hide the informations what kind of information informations they will hide they will they will hide the hide, uh, hide the impact factors there are there are some basic difference i want to i want to emphasize here first one is they, do, uh, they they don't have a transparency in the in the processing fee most of the journal right in the in the predatory journal all the predatory journal they never mentioned in the in the page of uh, processing fee in in the website or it will be hidden in the inside the sub icon you have to find out where is the processing fee how we can submit it so th this is the first sign uh, you can find out that is a pre uh, predatory journal then it will have a false informations about the about the journal that is uh, impact factor impact factor you know impact factor it will be given by sign citation index thomas router right thomas router they they are giving the index they are very very standard standard uh <clears throat> standard uh, impact factor provider right they are having some ethics and policy based on the policy only they will they will give the impact factor every year but what in 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 the in the journal they will mention so many things it it is up, it, it is uh, google scholar indexed they uh, uh, do uh, do aj in, indexed that is the directory of uh, open access journal do doaj indexed journals and uh, scopus index that is not comes under there is a, some database pubmed pubmed central right pubmed 
और वेब ऑफ साइंस डब्ल्यू ओ एस वेब ऑफ साइंस साइंस साइटेशन इंडेक्स जर्नल्स दैट इज ए लिस्ट स्कोपस इंडेक्स दीज आर ऑल वर्ल्ड पॉपुलर इंडेक्सिंग इंडेक्सिंग एजेंट्स दे विल गिव द इंडेक्स राइट देन इट विल बिकम इफ द जर्नल्स पार्ट ऑफ द पार्ट ऑफ द इंडेक्स इंडेक्सिंग एजेंसी देन दे विल प्रोवाइड राइट so later on we will see what are the what are the things uh, where we can differentiate the predatory and cloned channels then they 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 will just copy the editorial board from the from the standard journal and they will keep it with us with, with, with their their website without without knowing the editorial board members just they are copying from the standard journal and they are keeping in their website and they will they, they will be aggressively marketing they will ask for money they will personally send the mail to everyone but in the standard journal they never ask they the standard journal they never ask for publishing in their journal unless otherwise if it is a special issue the the uh, known person or they can contact you if you are in the field expert if you are they they will they will call you if you are a field expert experts but in the in the publication now why we are rushing to publish our our uh, our our research data in the journals some of the some of the some of the scholars may be in the verge of uh, phd completion they need a two two publications as per the ugc ugc rules then only they can submit the thesis otherwise they cannot submit the thesis as per the ugc rules so that's why they are they want to publish in a very short time and they want to they want to get the publication within within a day or within a week but it is not like that we should not go in this way if you are going then your data will not have a copyrights anyone can use if the <coughs> <coughs> excuse me if you are submitting submitting your manuscript to the predatory journal what will happen you just think about it you don't have any copyrights then your data can be taken from taken by anyone and it will it can be used by anyone in the world it will be in the online after after 2 years they they will close the journal then what will happen you cannot you cannot say you have published in this journal then your scientific data will be will be wasted your credit will be gone so while you are publishing no so then let me see the how to identify the predatory journals they are the bell no he made a website after that the other other scientists they are they are working on uh, they worked on the predatory journals how we can find out and they they started uh, some uh, they they started one one concept that is think check and submit then anonymous in- initiative also have been started that is stop predatory journals how we can find out based on their the scientist uh, bell erickson uh, helgishan then really samsir they they made some some criteria 25 criteria how we can we can identify the predatory journal if you are submission if you are submitting su- submitting your journal then if it is a good journal they never ask for publication fee they never ask for publication fee but the predatory journal they will ask for publication then that itself you can understand and they will promise for they, they will give a promise for very fast publication publication processing but in the in the peer review peer review means they will review two or three or four times review your paper review your manuscript then it will come to the publication so it can be it can be avoided so the very fast publication that is a sign of it is a predatory journal you can easily understand and there are no clear publication date because they they will said it is a it is a monthly publication it it is a annual journal or it's a monthly journal or it is a it is a quarterly journal or 6 months once they will publish it depends on the journal if it is a standard journal that is a protocol 
on the same issue or if you are submitting now they will they will uh, they will publish on next year also that is a good journal because it may be come to the online but the issue as well as the volume which they are giving no the page number and volume it will be on next year but there is no issue for for your data it have a, a secure it, it it has been secured but if you are publishing with a predatory journal then morning if you are submitting then within two days or one week it will be in the online or in the same day in the online but what will be the use you will not get any credit after submitting then the any time they will the the any time they can accept the accept the article and publish any time they don't have any restriction whether it is a monthly issue or whether it is a monthly journal or whether it is a quarterly journal and very low number of published papers and issues in the journal you can see the website if you are seeing the website it will it will clearly clearly you can understand there is a limited number of uh, issues and published paper and there is no clear aims and scope of the journal or not defined so here no it may be vague that means they they will mention the journal name and they will include all the subject they will in generally journal of biological science journal of life science generally they will give and they will include botany zoology any topic botany zoology microbiology biochemistry so any topic if you are publishing they will publish they don't have any clear cut clear cut aim and scope of the journal it's not defined in the website then you can understand okay this is the fake journal predatory journal we should not go and then the journal publish publishers no it's far outside the scope of the journal that means the scope of the journal no it's it's not meeting the uh, meeting the standard right and they will they will request through via email you can understand if it is from from the auto service or it may be from the from the mail if you are getting from any any journal then it is a fake journal then they will send through the gmail account or yahoo account or rediff account then you can understand it is a fake journal the standard journal they never ask with the gmail account or yahoo account they are having their own website and they are having own email id for the website and through the website they will send then you can see the very high acceptance rate of papers they will accept immediately even five paper if you are submitting immediately they will accept five papers but they will ask for money within short time acceptance it's it's a it's a big crime in the publication that means it indicate that they never went for peer reviewing your manuscript and even you can see many papers or articles it have it have it published in the particular journal which you are you are selecting as like a predatory journal you can see the title the the paper title title or abstract it contains so many errors they never check and they will publish they will just put publish in the sense they will they will just upload it in the website and they will claim very uh, claim for international standard they will claim for international standard and they will well known for the authors then it will have a very small editorial board in the website it's all mentioned in the website right you have you can see in the website right you can see in the website it have a but even though the editorial member they never known about the about the journal and editorial member they mention no the editorial members don't know about the journal and they did not get the the journal they, they did not get the permission for the editorial board members and chief editors it may have a different subject you can see the editorial chief member may be a different in subject but he is the editor in chief editor in chief then you can understand okay the topic of journal is different aim and scope is different and the chief editor is different in 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 the expert in the expertise so based on that you can understand and it have a it have a poor and unprofessional looking of website if you see science direct springer link willy inter science 
Taylor and Francis, Nature, Science Journal, PLOS, and PNAS. There are so many journals, standard journals, Oxford journals are there. They are having a standard website look. Then you are you are seeing seeing the website. I will show you. I will I will show you some some uh, fake journals and cloned journals also. You can understand. You can understand uh, by by seeing the website. Right, and they will give a open call for throughout the year to submit the submit the journal, submit the your manuscript, and the journal in the website itself it will have a poor language. There are so many spelling mistake, and you can find out the grammar errors. So, this is a basic information, and the transparent they are not transparent in the editorial policy. The each if they are they are going for uh, if they are having a journal they should have a editorial policy and they should have a copyrights and impact factor which they are claiming no they are claiming for 12 impact factor 15 impact factor 20 impact factor you can see the website look and see the impact factor impact factor it's only given by the thomas router there that, that is the agency they are providing the impact factor sign citation index it may be extended SCA or SCA uh, extended journals and it will have a even even general publication also there is a quality q1 journal q2 journal q q3 journal q4 journal q1 is topmost it is it is a topmost journal journal you can understand that is the very topmost journals we can publish if you are publishing even a one paper in the Q1 journal, it is it is equivalent to the pattern. Two or three publication, if you have have in the Q1 journal, it is equivalent to one pattern. You can understand that much standard they are maintaining for reviewing your manuscript, and and it will they don't have any transfer copyrights. They don't have right, and importantly, they are had. They don't have any committee on publication ethics. If if you are they they it, it won't be it won't be recognized by a professional bodies like like a committee committee on publication ethics international international association of scientific and uh, scientific technical and medical publishers then open access scholarly uh, publish uh, publishers association or European association of uh, science editors they never be. Then only it will be recognized as a, as a good journal, right? And here, no, you can see the journal is not indexed, indexed in any any database. You can see the standard uh, database that is PubMed, Central, Scopus, and Web of Science. It must be included in the in the journal. Then only you can go for the publication in the particular journal. Otherwise. Otherwise, it will be a predatory or cloned journal. You can understand. You have to search in the website. Then I will I will tell you in the coming slides, or uh, I will show you in the website. In the practically, I will show you right how you can find out easily. Then I told you that is Gmail, the mail from mail from uh, Gmail or Yahoo. Then they will uh, they will request for the uh, submission of articles. Then submission of your manuscript. Then you can understand. Then, if you see the bail list of predatory journal or block list of journal, then <coughs> if you go to that website, bail list, then you can understand that that is a journal. It is a it is in the it is a predatory journal or it is a, it is a block listed journal. Then you can understand. Then uh, another one list of open access journals. Some of the journals, it comes under directory of open access journal, DOAJ, journal list. And they will they will clearly mention that it is a DOA journals, but it is not in the database. Right? And also you can see the last one. The you can you can it it cannot be referred by any colleagues, known by your colleagues, or not read or unknown for from your colleagues. So based on that, you can understand that is a predatory journal. Then another one type of journal that is cloned journal. How we can differentiate 
but both both of the general person know they, they are having own the same motive to earn money they want to cheat us but how we can find out there is the option in most of the research scholars they are publishing you no know, in the in the ugc care journals right as per the ugc rules or you can publish any sca indexed journals how we can find out the ugc care care journals there are two groups ugc group uh, group 1 journal ugc care group 1 journals and ugc group 2 journals how we can find out how we can find out let me see i will i will show you in the website i will show you in the website this is the can you see i hope everyone seeing the seeing my uh, desktop right so here this is the website baleslist.net right he uh, in in this website no he listed the original list the publisher's name and there is a stand alone journals stand alone journals means they are not comes under any specific uh, publishers like uh, science direct or uh, springer link taylor and francis right uh, willy enter science these are all publishers they are combinedly uh, publishing with uh, other journals right number of journals the, uh, the more than 100 or 200 or thousands of journals comes under the publishers scientific uh, science direct publishers but stand alone journals they they never uh, they are not comes under the particular uh, particular publishers they will publish by their own self but even though it has some they are also maintaining some standards right so we can see here and also in the right side you can see the list of journal falsely climbing to the index doaj directory of open access journal and what we can see here we can see this is the this is the open access journal list we can see here what are the journals are not not a doaj journals and their issn number anyone can mention issn number but it have a proper rules to get 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 the issn number from the government it will be provided by the government right then only you can go for the it will be considered as a special publishers they can they can go for the publish publications and and some of the journals block listed journals also listed here doaj journals are added or removed some of the journals can be uh, it could be removed or uh, dip, uh, it, it become a it comes to the block list right so here no in the list uh, it will show the reason also here you can see some of the journals with the reason suspected editorial misconduct by publishers journal not adhering to the best practice they have they have removed the journals from the doaj journals list now you understand that there are the, some standard protocol for running a journal but they never meet the basic criteria for uh, running a journal right the predatory journal or a cloned journal or it's a fake journal they never never meet the basic basic qualification or basic criteria for running a journal right another ugc car journals cloned journals there is a list of cloned journals we can say here here there is a cloned journal it's with a group 1 right ugc listed there are two two groups they have listed ugc care listed first one group 1 and group 2 journals they have uh, listed in the website right so he, this is a ugc care list this is the official ac.in university pune right you can see uni uni pune that is university of uh, pune they published right the, this will be taken care of uh, by the university of pune right so they have another second list second list the group of group you can see here that is for one one example i will i will tell you adalya 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 journal this is a original journal that is published in turkish german and english three languages right but this is a fake journal adalya journal it published in english only right there is no publisher's name clearly not mentioned in the duplicate or cloned journal but the issn number they are copied from the original journals here if you see this is the this is the original journal i am just opening the website 
you can see the see the original this adalya journal it published in turkish right turkish language turkish german and english but whereas in the fake or cloned journal you can see it is only published in english here they are mentioning here faculty name alumni or even english or turkish name this is the this is the original original website they are having a clear cut contact details right and they are very very transparent and they are having a publishing ethics and policy you can see here ethics and policy and they are having aim and scope with clear cut but if you are seeing this is duplicate journal cloned journal adalya journal they, but they mentioned ugc care group 2 journals you can understand here you can understand the mistake ugc care and web of science they did not mention web of science completely that is a mistake here you can find out web of science it should be with the full word no here there is a mistake google scholar doi these are all cross references database they are telling that it will be it will be included but if you are going for archives or authors these are all the volumes they have included but it is not original journals that is not original journals here you can see the editorial board they don't have any clear cut uh, clear cut specialization they did not mention anything in that in the journal so the original if you see if you see they have a copyrights agreement the periodicals it's a journal they have clearly mentioned everything about the journals if you click about then it will show what is the journal editor in chief with full address english copy editing turkish and contact detail clear cut the website you have seen here this is the email id if it is a gmail the editorial board here there is no contact details if you go for contact details you can hear editor adalya journal at gmail.com you can see here but they have mentioned it this is 5.3 impact factor here there is no contact details and email id and it will be reached to them there is no peer review these kind of images they should not keep in the standard uh, journal you can see here the journal standard when you see the fake cloned one here they are keeping the images like this now you understand then another one example in the sci science journal i will show you right here another one journal which is listed journal of uh, shankai right this is springer springer link journal it's it, it's a springer publishers the original and duplicate this is a original journal this is a standard springer website right they are it is uh, they are having a standard right and you can understand how we can submit and this is a original website if you are seeing the duplicate website you can see this is the duplicate website they mentioned the ugc group 2 journal right but they are mentioning scopus preview this is not a original image but here no user id gmail.com this is about the journal you can understand call for the paper and if you are seeing the policy they just copied and they paste it here here the citation index i told you google scholar site factor doaj but the name is same slightly different they published here no if you see the journal original article review in any discipline you just you see that but here no the aim and scope if you see here the original original website here they clearly mention reflect the letter achu it's related to basic theory experimental studies which is which is only related to engineering fields such as novel uh, architecture ocean engineering then uh, material science computer communication engineering then electronic engineering automation and life sciences this is this is a ugc care journal
but here they mentioned all the topics how many topics they have included and any discipline they can publish now you can understand this is the standard of cloned journals right i hope everyone understood uh, this uh, practices with uh, with this one right so so by so we have to think about think before before submitting a manuscript into a particular journal right whether we are selecting a right journal whether we are uh, whether the journal have a impact factor whether it is comes under pubmed central or whether it is comes under uh, any uh, any ugc care list right so we have to see if it is a clone cloned journal we should not go for it and i will give another examples like right the here this is the left side is a it's a duplicate one this is a cloned journal the issn number here they mention no this is the right side it's a it is a original that is hijacked journal right so the standard you can see here this is a limited volume they are having if you are going for this journal website then it will have a it will have a, a complete volume right then another one example here no this is anco target which is a renowned cancer journal which having a impact 5.2 in 2016 but they stopped publishing they stopped publishing right but but still it is it is having a same the same name the fake journal they have been started right one report is telling that in 2014 right 2014 there are 4200 jour fake journals were detected and out of 4200 journals more than 2 lakhs 40000 articles have been published this is the data right and 2000 2016 they found that so many journals are fake right so here no here the experimental another one another one that is experimental and clinical cardiology 17 years they are continuously published by the canadian subscription publishers it is a swiss journal right but it was stopped from 2013 it was stopped from 2013 for unaccessible but still they are starting but here i will give another one hint or another one hint important hint there is a predatory conference also they are conducting right this is the left side here no if you are right sorry right side you are seeing no iceid 2018 that is a original conference but the omix group they started international conference series right with the emerging infectious disease in switzerland they are they are collecting the money and they are stopping uh, it was found by federal trade commission and they made a rule for stopping omex uh, omex uh, omix and uh, conference series right and they will they will uh, they 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 uh, could have a uh, hidden their publishing fees they collected the fee but they won't go for the conferences so before before submitting a paper, submitting a manuscript your manuscript you have to think then check the manuscript check the journal whether it is a standard journal whether it is a reputed journal whether it have a peer review uh, system whether they are following whether they are following ethics copyrights right and after confirming right confirming above mentioned 25 criteria if it is passed with all the 25 criteria right then you can go for the submission of the your manuscript otherwise no you will be in the trouble and your data will be wasted your total work have been wasted as well as your your money also gone right then you must be protect yourself from the predatory and cloned journals thank you thank you so much any questions if you have you can feel freely you can ask me
thank you thank you all of you thank you for your patience thank you sir now the session is open for queries please students don't hesitate please ask you are the uh, you are all young scholars right young scientist budding scientist don't hesitate this is a right forum to ask right sir good morning sir good morning sir. yes please sir, list, uh, sir you have list uh, you had said bell's list for detecting the predatory journals is there any yes. other websites to detect the predatory journals sir yes yes there are there are other websites also there but most prominently we are using the bells uh, list journals okay sir that is the most if you, if you are even yes yes even the, they started uh, this program or this uh, this initiative taken by bells and still now we are continuing if you want you can you can search in web of science right web of science website or you can go for pubmed central right pubmed central or you can go for uh, scopus indexed journals there are you, you have to go to the particular website right the publishers website there are fake websites also there we have to find out by by experience you can understand this is a fake journal this is a this is a fake website website or this is a original website so that's why i have i have given some uh, some of the key points to identify the predatory journal you can identify by yourself thank you i hope you understand yes sir thank you sir thank you sir thank you Hello, sir. Yes, yes, please. Uh, like uh, you have said, there is UGC catalyst. There is group uh, one, group two. Yes, group one, Can group you, two journals also like there. If I have published my paper earlier in the UGC catalyst, and now it is uh, it is not there. So uh, before uh, two years, it was there in this. Now actually, actually UGC. Yes, yes, I understood your question. UGC, you know, every year they are revising, right? Depends on the journal. And I, I, I have shown you one website that is DOAJ block listed journals, right? Nowadays they are, they are, they are uh, the UGC also taking care of removing this kind of cloned journals, predatory journals from their, from their website, right? So that's why I am telling that always you have to search web of science. PubMed Central, Scopus Index, right? These are all the uh, key. You can you can see uh, if you go to the particular uh, website, you can there is a search box. You can search with the uh, with the journal title. If it is indexed there, then you can go for the publication. Otherwise, don't go. Right, even though it is listed in UGC, sometimes if, if if it is violating, if the journal is violating the rules and regulation of UGC, UGC will remove their names from the UGC care list. So that's why they removed UGC removed the removed from their uh, care list. So that's why it is not showing now. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Sir, will they accept our uh, paper if we after uh, if we publish it in our original journal? I mean, what am, what my question is? In case if they if they if we publish a paper in a uh, fake journal, 
will they accept that paper uh, in uh, original journal sir no once it is come to the online when they are searching with the plagiar plagiarism software right then it will be detected you have already published in some other journal so they will not accept that's why before submission you must be take care about the journal selection once you published in the predatory journal you cannot publish your data in anywhere because it's but already in the online anyone can use your data how sir, you but, can publish but our paper will be published uh, in the state journal only no so so will that be validated as uh... no it will not be validated it's already it's in the website it will be when they are checking in the plagiarism right then it will be self cited or it will be it will be considered as say it's already in the online so your your uh, published data cannot be published once again with the right journal okay sir so that's why that's why we are telling that first you think then search then confirm after that only go for the submission okay sir okay thank you, okay. Thank you sir Hello, sir. Yes, yes, ma'am. Please. Sir, usually UGC approval journals uh, like a uh, one year they will be in list of UGC approved. In the next year it will be changing, sir. How we uh, we will find by direct in the website search? How we find a uh, it's a uh, current UGC approved list like that? Actually, you have to. I I have shown the list, right? It is a uh, this yes, kind of uh, things taken care of by University of Pune, right? go to the website right okay. and find out the list okay, okay. before publishing it actually if the journal know why you are choosing the journal uh, even even low impact factor journals also there you can choose instead of search, uh, uh, instead of selecting uh, this kind of uh, fake journals or i don't know why you you people uh, only think about uh, you you must understand your standard right then you can go for your data is valid because your data your your experiment no it's done by yourself right yes, so don't select uh, like a predatory journals right because you can understand by seeing the website itself in any time ugc will find out find out this is a fake uh, fake journal or it is a predatory journal this the, these journals are violating the rules and regulations of ugc they don't have a proper copyright policy right if yes, they will sir. find out then immediately they will block block the uh, journal and they will remove yes, remove from the list so that's why we have to be very careful before going for the publication okay sir okay sir thank you sir yeah thank you thank you before publishing no we must be must must trust on our our data we have to believe believe our data can be published in a very good journal the journals are expecting the fluency so you can go for the english editing with any english professor you can you can uh, jointly you can make a correction with them first you write the journal uh, write the manuscript then give it to your co-author and they will correct it and again they will give it to you two or three revision is required before submission just like that we cannot publish a paper in a very good journal we can also try it because in tamil nadu no i i also from tamil nadu i studied in all my P, uh, pug pg phd and post doc i have completed in tamil nadu our tamil people are really really hard working but while coming for the publication why you are not trusting yourself you can publish in a very good journal you can publish with your data no you have collected your data so you have to believe first your data can be published in any journal but the way of writing no if you are reading a many journal then you can understand that which journal following which format or how they are writing in the specific topic or in the specific field if you are giving proper suggestions or proper uh, valid point for for suggest uh, for giving the proof if you are pro proving the data with the with the proper citation then it will be published in the right journal so don't underestimate yourself and your data 
you can also publish the way of writing you must change and you can publish in a very good journal Uh, sir, uh, another one question, yes. sir. One, yes, uh, please. Yes, please. Posted in the chat box. Uh, yes, yes, please. How can we identify the fake journals with any easiest method? Easiest method by say by seeing the seeing the journal look. You don't have any standard format. When compare, I I have shown the original website. I have shown the uh, cloned website. even ugc care list also i have shown some of the fake journals also there so by by seeing itself and also you have to go to contact list you have to check you have when you are going for submission no no journal no standard journal ask as the uh, ask you to submit the your manuscript through email there is a separate uh, submission system right you have to submit through the system there is a there is a uh, submission submission website submission systems or uh, systems are there the no journal no standard journal will ask to submit through email if they are asking through email definitely don't go with the journal that is the easiest way yes sir yes sir Sir, good morning sir good morning good morning sir it was a very nice yes. presentation sir thank you thank you so much is impact factor making us pray for a falling in fake journals sir yes they can mention any any impact factor but but before before that there is a uh, list of uh, journal with the impact factor published by uh, thomas router right then you can go to the website and you can find out the journal impact from their list there is a sca indexed journal sca extended indexed journals also there you just go to the website and see the index from the thomas router website that is science citation index that is called science citation index okay sir thank you any other questions please students if there is any doubt you can ask can clarify with the resource person if there is no queries we can wind up the session yes thank you thank you all of you for giving me this op wonderful opportunity for uh, for this presentation thank you thank you sir thank you thank you all of you once again uh, sir so thank you sir this is dr chirumbar rajan yes. head department yes, of biotechnology uh, yes, thanks thank for you. accepting our invitation and uh, deliver the talk sir Thank you, sir. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much. And over to the MOC. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank nice presentation. Thank you, sir. Thank you for spending your valuable time with us. Thank you. Thank you. ये सोनी का क्लोज
So thank you all for your participation. The session is completed. Now you can leave the call.